Today we will see classification of material, how we classify material with reference to electric charges, motion. Motion means what? If I rub this plastic and lift the papers, it will do because it has charged. If I rub a metal plate, copper, silver, then I see that it is not lifted because answer it is not charged. But I am sure it is charged. Why I am sure? Because when I rub it and I check this, this is negatively charged. That means there was an equal positive charge on this. Then why it is not showing the charge? The answer is that charge has gone to my body and it has gone to earth. Okay? It should happen every time. Now when I do it with the plastic, it gets charged. And now it is not going to earth, it is showing its force everywhere. Why it has not gone in case of plastic and why it has gone in case of copper? The answer is, okay, we don't have a single answer and when we don't have a single answer, we classify. Few things behave like this, few things behave like this. The same thing we have done for the material and we classify the material. There is one class of material which allows charges to move copper, silver. There is another class of material which do not allow that to move. That is glass, plastic. You rub it, this particle will get, the charges will accumulate here and these charges will not move. So, we classify into two types. One which allow the charges to be conducted. So, we call them conductors. conductors and other is we will call them insulators insulator which will insulate the charge here insulate separate it out so which will insulate the charge on this part from this part so those are known as insulators so conductors I will write the definition of the two Insulators, all such material which do not allow electrons or charged particles to move freely within them are insulator. Example, plastics, porcelain. Okay, now this property of conductors which allows uh, charges to move makes them conductor. We need it whenever we want to carry charges from one place to the other place. We need a conductor. Like the powerhouse is generating electricity and I need to move charges from powerhouse to my house. So what do I need? I need a conductor. Now I want that all those charges pressed by powerhouse should come to my house. But such a long wire I have to rest on the poles. Whenever this wire is going to the pole the charges will come here and will go to earth. I want them not to go to earth, I want them to come to my house. So what can I do to avoid that they should not go to earth? The answer is when there is a conductor coming to my house, in between conductor and this pole, I will put an insulator. What it will do? It will not allow charges to move to this and this is what you see on the poles just see it minutely always you will find that the wire is not connected to pole and there is always a porcelain between them that is why we save charges to move simply again we do not want charges to move through our body because that will destroy our nervous system which is also an electrical system so charges should not come to our hand so what we should do on every conductor, we put an insulator. On every machine, we put an insulator so that we can hold it. Now, the charges will not go to my body and to the earth. So, both are equally necessary. Like in your motorcycle, if you have an engine to run it, that is a must. But the very next thing which is a must is a brake. 
If you don't have a brake, you won't even dare to run a motorcycle. So, the simply, this is conductor for conducting electricity and this is insulator to hold it so that it does not go to any unwanted place. Okay. Now, a conductor has a property. Good conductor, very good conductor. What is that property we call? So, we call that property as conductivity. And what is property of insulator? Insulator, we have a property that insulation or we call it dielectric strength. Dielectric strength. Okay, so remember what is property of a conductor? That it is a good, a better and the best conductor. That property is conductivity which is more and more. And for insulator, it will not allow, it will dielectric strength. It will hold the charges to move and that strength for holding is the strength of a insulator. More is dielectric strength, better insulator it is. More is conductivity, better conductor it is. Okay, so this dielectric strength we will do in the next class.